Yep, you read that right. I, Redneck Mini 14, am done with guns. Well, kinda, sorta, for right now. Let me explain. So, if you follow my other channel, Redneck Off The Range, which I know not many of you do, because there's like, what, 125 subscribers over there, and I got like over 3,000 on this channel. If you follow that channel, you would know that recently, my father, and, you know, my mother, you know, basically our inter immediate family, we bought out this land from other family members because it was inherited from my grandparents who passed away in the last few years and uh, the other family members didn't want anything to do with it. We did, so we bought them out uh, in the last couple months. Still working through a few details, but uh, the land is ours and so family farm uh, now belongs to us. You probably recognize this land. I uh, come out here, do some videos out here. I do shooting videos out here. I do um, videos on my other channel out here, uh, Redneck Off The Range. And you know, I do vlogs and stuff like that. And I really just love this property. And one thing that we need on this property is a good working tractor. We do have two tractors on this property. Um, Neither one of them really do us any good. One of them is an old Ford, and I'll show you these tractors in a minute, but one of them's an old, you know, 1940-something Ford 9N. You know, all the tires are split, it needs a battery, it needs probably all the seals replaced because, you know, all the fluid pretty much drained out of it because it hadn't been run in like 12 years or so. And, you know, there was just a whole puddle of oil under it and, it's just a lot of work and the tractor even if we put in all the work to fix it it's not going to have all the capabilities that i want in a tractor for out here you know we could do so many things out here that we just couldn't do before the other tractor is basically nothing more than a big riding lawnmower and it, you know it doesn't have a three-point hitch or a pto or anything like that so it really doesn't do us any good because we have a zero turn we got a, a john deere out here as well uh, and, you know, it, it's really not going to do us any good. We need something with a good three-point hitch, a uh, front-end loader, a PTO. You know, we need all those things to do what we need. You know, brush hogging, uh, scraping the driveway, building uh, parking spots, things like that. Um, maybe in the future do some tilling for deer, uh, you know, food plots and stuff like that. So we need a good tractor that can do all of these things. And my plan is to go in with my parents and buy a tractor or at least finance a tractor, but put a good down payment down. And that requires a lot of money because the tractors that I'm looking at are a good 20 to $25,000. That's a lot of money and that requires me to save money as opposed to continue buying guns. So, probably not going to be buying a lot of guns in the near future. I will probably buy one more Ruger Vaquero. I do have a lot of cash back on my credit cards that I could put towards a Vaquero, so it would only, only cost me like a, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so that's good. But other than that, probably not going to be buying a whole lot of guns. I do, however, have a whole arsenal of guns that I can do videos on. I have reviews on pretty much all of them. Um, probably got some projects to go with some of them. And I've just got, you know, other videos I can do, um, show off certain things. So there's not going to be a shortage of videos, um, but it'll just kind of be different. I won't be buying more guns and doing reviews on guns. I could still do shooting videos. Um, if I could find more ammo, but the ammo shortage kind of has that screwed up. But, you know, once the ammo shortage is, is over with, you know, in like 10 years, um, I'll do more shooting videos. In fact, I can still do like 22 shooting videos and um, shotgun shooting videos. And just, you know, whenever I get a gun, I like to, you know, put a few rounds through it. So I can do videos like that still. Um, and I will still do still do videos on my other channel redneck off the range if you like uh, reviews on power tools on um, hand tools if you like watching vlogs I, I plan on doing some some vlogs out here plan on doing some hunting videos maybe some fishing videos things like that i'm going to do videos like that 
on that channel and I will still do things like uh, you know whenever we get a tractor and and some implements out here I'll do videos on that as well and uh, so I'm gonna do quite a few videos on that I know right now there's not a whole lot of videos on that channel they're kind of few and far between I just it's really hard to keep up with two channels and a full-time job I'm not a full-time youtuber like a lot of big channels so um, that that does play a part in why um, you know sometimes I'll, I'll have a bunch of videos and then I'll, I'll go like months without having a video um, I just don't have the time life happens but um, I do plan on still continuing to make videos on both channels as long as YouTube you know community standards allow me to do so so I'm not going away anytime soon but let me show you um, these two tractors and what I'm talking about and why I say we need a good tractor. All right, guys, so here's the barn. Um, it is slowly coming along. We did get rid of a uh, handful of things in here, but it's still, we still have a long way to go. So um, we do have this one John Deere lawnmower that's not very good. Um, it overheats and, you know, it's, it's just not as good of a lawnmower as that one there. So we're probably gonna sell this for like a hundred bucks or something. Um, back here we have the two tractors that I was talking about. And here we have, you know, I'm not sure this might be a 1939. My father says that it says 39 on it somewhere. And I believe that's the first year that these models were actually made. Um, so it might be worth a little bit of money. I'm not really looking to get a whole lot of money because as you can see, the tires are flat, actually you probably can't really see um, from this angle, but I'll tell you right now, all four of these tires are split and they're flat. So that obviously is gonna cost somebody some money. The engine doesn't run because obviously there's, there's no battery in it. Hasn't had a battery in it for at least 10 years, maybe 12 years. Um, and it just has this oil soaked box underneath it. So, you know, over all those years that it's just been sitting here, all the, the oil seals have basically broke loose and all the oils basically leaked out of it. So it's really, um, it needs a lot of work. And as you can see here, the, uh, headlight needs to be replaced. But, you know, back when this was a good working tractor, it, it brush hogged the fields and you know, they bailed it for hay for the neighbors. And as you can see, it's got a brush hog on it back there. And we can still use that brush hog on a new tractor. But I am not willing to put in the work to do this. It's gonna cost me a lot of, or it's gonna cost my family a lot of money to pay somebody to fix this. And you know, if I try to do it myself, I'm not confident that I can do all of it myself. And I really just think it's going to take more money than the thing is worth for us to fix this tractor. And it doesn't have a front end loader. It doesn't have all the horsepower that I think we could use out here. You know, these things didn't have a whole lot of horsepower. It can still operate that brush hog. But, you know, if I wanted to do a tiller or something like that, I would probably want a little more horsepower. So looking for something uh, a little bit bigger than this, um, engine-wise and PTO-wise. Here, we have an International Harvester Cub Low Boy. Um, it basically, I think it's just basically a big Cub Cadet, um, if I'm not mistaken. But it is made by International Harvester, which is owned by Case now. But basically, it's just a big lawnmower. It's got this big 60 inch deck on it. So it's a good sized deck. Let me see if I can get back here without running into too many spider webs. But as you can see, there's no three point hitch. There's no rear PTO. Well, I mean, it does kind of have a rear PTO, but it's not you know, normally on a newer tractor, this would just be a mid PTO, but you know, the way this thing's set up is it has belts that come back here and you know, runs off of that. So it does kind of have a rear PTO, but it doesn't have any sort of three point hitch or anything to run a brush hog or you couldn't put a blade on it. You couldn't put a tiller on it. You couldn't do any of that with this tractor. It's just a big lawnmower. 
and that doesn't really do us any good. So I'm um, thinking of selling both of these tractors in exchange for a good tractor. Um, I'm looking at brands like Kubota, Massey Ferguson. There is a Branson dealer really close to here, or at least on the way here from our house. Um, might check those out. I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. Um, Mahindra's, let's see, what else? Um, Coyotes, I really like Coyotes, but there's not really a dealer anywhere near here, but I might go and, and take a road trip and, and see, you know, take a look at them. I actually work for a Bobcat dealer. I could get a Bobcat, but I, I just have some personal issues with the company itself. So I'm probably not going to buy a Bobcat. Unless my father decides he wants to go with the Bobcat because he can save more money. I can kind of see that, but me and myself, I don't want to buy a Bobcat. Um, and it's basically just a Coyote anyway, so might as well just get the Coyote. But those are the brands that I'm looking at. There's a couple other brands. I'm not a huge John Deere fan. Um, I, I don't like that they're made out of plastic and aluminum and they cost more. You know, so it's like they're made out of subpar materials and they cost more. I, I, I don't understand. So I'm probably not going to get a John Deere. I might look at them for comparison's sake. And, you know, maybe if we get a good deal on one, find a, like a good used one, maybe we'll get one. But um, I really like Massey Ferguson and Kubota and Coyote and, you know, all those other brands. So that's what I'm looking at. And uh, I'll probably do some videos on that on my other channel. And again, I'll continue to do videos on this channel. So there's not going to be any shortage of videos. It's just you're not going to see a whole lot of new guns on this channel for probably a good year, uh, with the exception of maybe one, maybe two. I don't know. Not a whole lot, though. So sorry, guys. But anyway, subscribe to my channel. Like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 And until next time, be safe.